Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tracy, and this is a DIY upcycling channel where I take pre-owned items and turn them into one-of-a-kind purses, clothing, and accessories. Now, can you see me behind all these bags? This, this video is a little different. It's kind of a three-parter. I'm doing a little bit of a vlog, letting you know kind of what's going on with me right now. And I'm doing a thrift haul. And then I will do a DIY on how to make t-shirt um, reusable bags. Now, I think most people have seen those. You make them out of t-shirts, super simple. You take them to the store and then you don't have to use the plastic bags that aren't good for the environment. So, the vlog. First thing I want to let you know is I've been batching videos because I have a couple things going on. I'm filming this on the 20th of September and on September 26th, I'm finally getting my tendonitis surgery. So I won't be able to work for a little bit, a little while, so, and things like that. And then October 7th, we're taking an RV trip. I live in Illinois. We're going to North Carolina to see my grandbabies and my daughter and son-in-law too. <laughs> but, and I will be gone until almost the end of October, but I've been batching videos. I still plan to post videos on Sunday and try to do as many Thursday videos as I can as well. So that trip to North Carolina to see my grandbabies is a big reason for a lot of these bags. And I'll show you what I got and what I'm going to do with the stuff I got. And I also had a little list. I wanted to make a denim boho bag with suede fringe. And so I got supplies for that and some more. Okay, so I'm just going to dig into these bags. I haven't washed anything yet, and that's kind of a rule of mine. Anything that comes down into my workspace, which is down in the basement, gets washed before it even comes down the stairs. But I'm going to wash everything, and I just, this is how I just got it home, so I'm going to just start digging in. Okay, so the t-shirt bags. When I go to see my grandbabies, I only see them twice a year. So I always bring lots of goodies. And the gift bags, the pretty ones from the stores, I save those for Christmas, or Christmas, other holidays, birthdays. But I don't want to present their gifts in just a paper sack or a grocery bag. So I am making the t-shirt tote bags. And I got a bunch of stuff to give them, so I got a bunch of t-shirts. Now this will be the little demonstration at the end of this video, how I simply make them. And you know, they're awesome because their mom, my daughter, she uses them to go to the grocery store and markets and things like that. So, so just a bunch of t-shirts. I have a girl and a boy. The boy is seven. The girl is five. So I try to get a little bit of boyish stuff, girlish girl stuff. Okay. T-shirts. And then, okay, so it's well, almost Halloween-ish time. A great place to look for stuff is in all the Halloween um, costumes because they put really cool things in there that are not just the cheap costumes. Like this is not a costume. It's some sort of handmade skirt that has beautiful applique. Now, I just think that applique is so pretty. I'll use it on a jean jacket or something. So I will just store that until it comes in handy. More t-shirt for bags. And then, okay, so I want to make a boho. This will be one of the videos that I'll batch that I'll be able to post while I'm recovering and on my trip. I'm going to make a denim boho bag with suede fringe. So I've got some oversized jeans. And I got three pair. I will not need them. But when I look for jeans to make a bag, I had, I bypass all the jeans, go straight to the plus size because that gives me 
a lot of fabric to work with. Now this wasn't plus size, but I liked the color and the wash. Now these you will see in an upcoming video, but the important piece for this bag that I was looking for, I went there trying to find a pair of jeans that had some pretty flower embroidery. And I found them. I don't know why things just luck out like that for me, but they do. So these jeans, and these are kind of sequiny. That was just kind of a bonus. Now this bag will have kind of a folded down top and these pretty embroidered sequin flowers are going to be at the top. Cannot wait to make that. And I'm going to keep that project fairly simple. So next, okay, so here's a suede jacket that I'll use for the fringe on the bag. And I also, let me clear some of this off the table quick. Okay, so I need to put my glasses on to see this because when I was at the thrift store, all I saw were these pretty, um, they're kind of inserts, kind of a lacy insert, but I wasn't sure what it was because I just grabbed stuff and go, it looks like it's a tablecloth. Now I will wash this and store this away. I'm always looking for cool pieces like this to make pretty dusters and tops and things like that. And I also found this damask tablecloth, kind of a linen, I'm probably is linen. Now it has like little snowflakes and stuff, but it's so subtle that it probably won't stop me from using it on a project that isn't at the holidays. Okay, and so I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, I bought a bunch of sheets. Now, the reason I bought those is here's a gift that I got, I got one for Emmett and one for Josie. And this is a build a fort. You know how kids love to build forts on sofas and stuff? So I got them each one of these and it's just the frame and you can make different shapes and things. And so I didn't want them to take all of their blanket, heavy blankets and stuff. I don't know how sturdy this is from their house. And I want them to have their own little fort that mom's not going to take back and want to put back on the bed. So I got them each some sheets for this project. Now, I haven't decided who gets what. Of course, well, Josie will get this one. And this, probably she'll get this one too. It has little birds and flowers. I tried to do sort of a boy theme and a girl theme. More sheets, okay. And I have more in this bag too, I think. So, how cool will that be? And that's something grandma can do with them while we're there, build a fort and put these sheets all over. Now, another thing, when I travel there, we're in an RV and we're pulling a car. So I have lots of room to pack goodies for them. I always get them books. You can never have too many books. You get bored of the same old story. I always bring them books from the thrift store. And Okay, more sheets for the forts. I get so excited <laughs> when I bring them things and I have all the supplies to make what we envision. Okay, this is just all fort stuff. And then just this little towel. I just thought it had a beautiful pattern. I'll probably use that on a purse or something. Okay, one more bag. Now, this was $6, and I, these are always bundled up in my thrift store, and they're just a bunch, I haven't even opened this yet, they're just a bunch of random towels and rags. And you know, with all the bleaching and dyeing that I do, and two cats and a dog that are always making some kind of mess, 
I am always needing extra rags and towels and you know something after the dog has a bath to dry them off with. Okay, so that is that. I'll wash them and I have a tub in my laundry room or actually kind of a, a basket up on my shelf that just says rags and I'll put them all in there. And then, oh, this is kind of nothing special, but for me, it's just a coat and I wanted it oversized and I wanted this for the RV trip as well because we each have a hook by the door that goes outside. And no matter what you're wearing, if I'm wearing something big, I'm, you know, if it's drizzling outside or cold, I want to grab a coat and throw it on and just be comfy and warm. And that's all this is. It's just kind of a play coat. And it had a bonus two little gloves in the pocket. All right, so I'm gonna get these little bags made for the kids before I get my surgery done. And um, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Super simple and basic. You might already know how to do this, but stick around if you wanna see how they turn out. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bag on this extra large adult t-shirt. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the sleeves off. Here's the seam where the sleeve attaches to the shirt. I'm going to come about two inches from that seam here and about two inches underneath. Now I'm going to do that on the opposite side. Now I'm going to cut a big U. These will be the straps now. Now these will be really long straps. If you want shorter straps, don't go so far underneath of the armpit and don't go so deep with your V. And some of these I will and some of these I won't. I want them to be different shapes. Now cutting is never perfect. If it's jagged, well, I do this anyway, I just give it a little stretch and that smooths out the edges. Now I did cut through a seam on the shoulder here. Mine doesn't seem to be coming unattached, but you could do a little zigzag stitch over top of that seam if you're concerned that that might come apart, but mine seems just fine. Now I'm going to turn it inside out And I'm going to line that bottom up. I'll actually be lining this up at my machine because I will not pin this or anything. And then what I'll do, let me get this lined up. Okay, now my bottom is all lined up. I'm just going to go to my machine and I am going to use my second to largest zigzag stitch. Now this has stretch and a zigzag stitch will help that, allow that to stretch without the seams, the thread ripping. And I am just going to sew across the bottom. Okay, now you can just turn it right side out. And you have a handy dandy little bag. Now I'm going to do that to the rest of my t-shirts. I'll display them on my arms and show them to you real quick. Okay, my bags are all done and ready to load up. Now I wanna talk about one more thing real quick and it's these crazy pants. I do not have a video on these and what they are, let me bring the camera in a little bit. Okay, so these are men's button fly Levi's. And I like to get them one or two sizes larger than my waist size, so I have a nice, relaxed boyfriend fit. And I just bleached them. So I have a spray bottle like this, but I removed the nozzle. I just wanted a small spout so that I could control where I poured the bleach. I laid this out on my sidewalk and filled this up with bleach and I just kind of 
dump bleach where I thought I might like it and it was pure bleach and the, I know that makes a lot of people uncomfortable but the trick is to once it gets the color you like or close to rinse 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 just try to rinse as much of that bleach out as you can wash it in the washer with soapy water dry it line dry it whatever you want to do and that's all these are so thank you so so much for watching